Evening all, and welcome back to Factorio. I'm joined as ever by Nerdy or Gamer, who... Hello, hello. Yeah, there you are. Hello, hello. Yeah, I'm here, I'm and train. trains are stuck. Trains are stuck because they don't have a path, but they will shortly. Okay, because you took out the roundabout in the end. Yep. Which I shouldn't have. Uh, but they, they, they'll have a, a path shortly because I now have. I, I also have to question. Yeah. Why are you putting so much parking? Uh, just because that's my blueprint. Uh, uh, yeah, but it's it's really not needed. Not now. We can limit trains to how many go to a station. It's no, fine. that's true. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, whatever. It's it's fine. It's fine. I'm just just nitpicking. It's all easy. Oh well. That's fine too. Uh, actually, let's deconstruct that. You know what? You're right. Let's not put on in all that parking. Let's remove it. And we'll just have, I think, two train stops. And that's it. Speaking of parking, how much money do I have? Because I'm going to need some. So we we need parking for drop offs, but not for pickups, right? Or is it the other way around? The other way around. You you you, you need parking for pickups, particularly if you know that there's going to be multiple pickups going on. But again, you don't need that much because now we can limit the train how many trains go to wherever. So yeah. Okay, picking up some more rails, we're almost full on rails, and I do not have room to put down more, uh, so let's do that. Uh, Do that, then at least I can get rid of some of this wood. And I can get rid of the pistols and this dirty ammo. you and that'll do probably All right that gives us a bit more space Trees die. Uh, what? Trees in the way. Trees. They were dead already, but I killed die, them some die. more. How, 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 how do you kill dead trees? I don't... Just kill them some more. Oh, okay. Uh, 
It works, I promise. Okay. I'll have to trust you on that. So... We need... We need... It needs to go on this side, though. Why are you... Ah. Dang it. Um... Hmm. Hmm. So you actually need to come in the other way around. That's all making one... ...four time for one station making... ...or picking up enough. This needs to be down. Right, so... We'll make a entrance here, and I think we will deconstruct all of this. It sucks, because that's a lot of wood. That is a lot of wood. Okay. Well, still more wood coming in, but there it's done. All right, so I will build a roundabout here, just so. Our trains can get back out of here. It's going to be pretty. No, it's not. But it doesn't matter. As long as it works. Right. So now you can move. Yeah, you can move. Wonderful. Alright. And then... We'll do a couple of parking spots. <clears throat> no more than a couple, though. I, I don't think we need more than two or three maximum. Do we? Uh, I mean, it depends on how many trains you're ever going to send down to the stop. Yeah, so this is... If you're going to send, say, two, then you need space for one train to park. Or one's in there. Yeah. So let's do four. Uh, yeah, all right. Like that. And we need some signals. Mm -hmm. And then we need a signal here, really. And a signal here. And that's it. All right. And then we will turn this around this way, come back up, and go in. So. And here, of course, we need that and that. And that's fine. Uh, but we do need another train stop, I think. Uh, let's put in the stop. Uh, rail blueprint book. Uh, both sided rail pickup. That's from back. I want. I think I want the rails from the front. Mm. What do I? What if we do rails from the 
fact. Something like that. And then we do another one where it's rails from the front. I think that'll work. And let's deconstruct this. Okay, that's all being built. Need more chests. Okay, this is this is a bit tricky. What's going on? Uh, I'm putting down the blueprints. Mm-hmm. Not planning to build them just yet. No. Uh, of, of the. Uh... <laughs> how how many is that? There we go. There we go. That is four red belts, completely full of red circuits. Okay. Only four. We're gonna need more than that eventually. But for now, four is great. One is great. That's four belts completely saturated. So that is potentially 7,200 red circuits a minute. <laughs> the size of this factory is madness. Yeah, well. But, um, I wanted to put it in because I wanted to figure out where I want to put the stop for the uh, to pick up this stuff. Because I want to put it like roughly in the middle, so like the bottom one, the, the, that each row can makes just one belt of red circuits. Yeah. So yeah. So what I want to do is basically I want to run the train track down until it's roughly centered. Right, so if we get this out of the way. So we'll run them vertically, right? North south, if you will. That is sense. So it's gotta be off by one. And we'll stick down one here. Just So there. Let me just take around here. Because I don't want to build the when you belt. And we need power. Alright. So then we will copy this. Just it's so big, I can't even cover it with a radar. My own personal expense amount is too large for. Ready. So there we can take all this out. And that. No, actually. Don't take that out. 
And then we can copy this. Kill power to the wall, which is not good, but we'll fix that. Like so, uh, almost like so. Come on. That'll fix it. Permanent beautiful tree. What did you say? Beautiful trees? Yeah. It's not in my my vocabulary. Okay. okay, there we go. Right, so I think that's got rid of everything. I'm no longer trying to dismantle the entire forest. Only a small section. Why not? Because Seems like a reasonable thing to, to do to me. That much wood in my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> so there. I'm not, I don't, I don't. And we need to fix this. Okay. That okay, so then we can copy uh, copy that damn it all of that and we can stick it in there there this one down there there also know that this is it. There. Turn that back on. Go and do your there. thing. Find like the railway track. I know that the railway track is that's right, that's got all this built up. Okay. How many is this going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's say eight lines of copper. That's actually perfect for a single stop. All right, so that's what we'll do. I need more power poles. Can I make more power poles? No, I can't make more power poles because I'm up out of copper plate. Which uh, is what I'm trying to fix. Can you come over here, please? To Hatsagovak Christian. Ah, yes. as well. Dang it. Oh, it's a start. We can get something going. <clears throat> we can get something going. Which is the main thing. Redesign. <sighs> this is definitely going to be redesigned because... 
It's not correct. Hello, copper plate. Not a lot of copper plate, though. Uh, and that allows me to make one. Wonderful. <laughs> Because we need steel plate. All right. Can you come up to Herzegovac Kestian as well, please? Right. And I think I will rename Herzegovac Kestian to Copper or Pickup. Because the, first of all, it's a lot easier to say and. It's also more descriptive of what is actually going on here. Yes, indeed. Oh, I can make three electric mining drills. All right. And that allowed me to make 95. Okay, that works. All right, stick those things in there, please. Now, can I make miners now? No, I need iron plate. All right, but it's fine. We're we have something down. We have something that will actually mine uh, we don't need all this don't stand on the belt like so we don't need you we do need you we do need you we do need you we don't need you all right so let's uh, pull this back a bit. Yeah. I think affordable. Just to call that copper ore in there. And I do need an eight by eight balancer. So that is what I'll grab. Eight by eight. Uh, I really don't care if there's a gap. So eight by eight. We'll stick you here, I think. And I am gonna need more splitters, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. We, we're still not making splitters, are we? Uh, red splitters? Uh, yes, everything's been made, but no, because we have the copper. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, fair, fair, fair enough. <laughs> uh, so you go in there. You no, I go four to go there. Hopefully we have at least a line that is complete. And then we'll come up here, go in there, go up here, go in there, and you come up here, go in there. I don't know why we didn't get power poles up here. I did request them, I'm pretty sure. But apparently not. Alright. And you come over here. Go in there. Alright. We are almost at the point where we are shipping copper. Then we just need to get it to the station or to the smelting plant as well. Uh, 
Because right now it's just going to a train station and then going nowhere. Which is uh, not very helpful. Ah uh, yes, because it's not actually connected up, is it, the other end? Nope. Of course. Alright. So there. Let's try firing this thing up. Oh, and uh, you come up here and just come in there. A splitter there would be nice, but I can't make any, can I? No. I need regular splitters, which I need iron plate for. Uh, iron plate, can you please come over here? Low iron plate. Um, come, come to there, let's say. Go. And leo leo, as they would say in Thailand, which means hurry up. <coughs> Stupid, not paying attention. Uh. Did I not ask an iron plate team to come? I guess it's this one that's coming. Right, almost there. Oh, no, no! Stop! Manual. <laughs> like, nope, I'm off. See you later. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, go. Automatic. And what was it I needed to make? Uh, fast splitters. Okay, and I do have a locomotive, I think. I do not have a locomotive. I thought I had a locomotive. But I can make one. So that's all good. Stuff is coming along uh, fast. Seems wrong here. So so. Do need a locomotive though. Uh, let's see. We can go across here, 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 and here. Ah, uh, um. What's going on? I don't have enough space. Or? Doing what I want to do. Oh! For that. Alright, so that's four. Well, eight. Belts loading at the same time. Of course, we don't have full stream yet because we're missing a base for it because I've got one's belt. Ah! <laughs> we're missing. Uh... We're missing them. We're missing them. The miners! That's what they're called. The miners. That's what we're missing. Uh, the, the, the actual things that do the job you want them to do. Yes, exactly. Right. 
And there's some missing power in here for whatever reason. Let's fix that. That'll help a little bit. And all we need now is second line. The locomotive. Come on. Come on. Talk locomotive. Not quite. Yay! A locomotive. Uh, right, you go there. Then you will get four wagons. Like so. Then you will get some wood to kick you off for fuel. <gasps> wood? Where are you going to get that? Well, I have a little bit in my inventory. Just a tad. And you Cut. will go from copper ore pickup to copper ore drop off, and you will be in activity and in activity. Okay, so go. I have spent three episodes building this and it should be working out it should be fine it should be on it well it will be on it is on it just needs the trains to turn up none of the trains turn up why none of the trains turn up uh what did you do you only have an entrance not an exit that's for sure yeah but Oh, he's waiting for full cargo. It's not. Okay. Uh, what did? What, what, what's this bit over here to the right of you, or to the east of you? You have another train station. That's that's the uh, the the pickup. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that that's the pickup. That's what we're going to pick up the. Uh, Mm -hmm. the um, because that is in the center of where there's going to be four great big lines of those factories. Yeah. Uh, we'll be making four full lines, and that four lines will be split into eight to load the train, but that's just so that you can load the train from both sides of them. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. So, uh, did, did you well, measure... You, you measured the... The maximum input, right? And not the maximum output? Yes, based on the maximum input. So it requires, yeah. as I said, it requires four belts of copper cable. This yeah. is what I've got out. So, um, yeah. Well, it looks very nice. It's a very nice symmetric build. I like it when it looks... When it looks... Me too. I'm not just not very good at doing it. I, I, I can do it when it comes to um, mathematical symmetry, or not symmetry, but you know, um, I'm not very creative when it comes to just drawing something, you know, but if there is like a, a pattern to be found mathematically, I can figure that one out. Okay. So you know, that, that makes sense in my head. Flowers and stuff like that makes sense in my head because they use the most effective space for their leaves and stuff. It's, it's all, you know, it, it's mathematically perfect. Not perfect, but you know what I mean. Ex excuse me, flowers make sense in your head? When you look at a rose, when it shuts up at night, when it closes its thing at night, all the, all the petals curl around each other and fit into a very small area of space to protect it. Mm -hmm. So that makes perfect sense because then when it opens up, it spreads out the, the petals as high as it can to get the pollen in. So that is a, an example of um, effective prettiness i suppose is the best effective beauty is the way okay so it, it looks that way so it is it's a it's a pattern it's if you look at a, a rose it's, it's a pattern it's a spiral pattern some right. clouds are the same they're, they're, they're it's a spiral pattern on the uh the uh, seeds so. i Let's see see. yeah i have that never i have never studied, studied flowers that much I, I haven't studied flowers but when you start trying to figure out like i did in my factory town i was trying to figure out how to get equal amount of spaces spread across the circle 
Mm -hmm. So every house had the same size garden with it. Um, and when you look at it, it looks kind of like a flower because it's all, it's a repetitive pattern circling around mm -hmm. to fit into the area. So, okay. And then you had the, all the, um, the, the market and, and, and alchemist and so on. They were in the middle of what? They were, they were in the center. Yep. Mm. So they could spread out thing. And then the rules for towns change in factory town. So now a town changes. So yeah. A town, <laughs> a town changes. Uh, it no longer just works off of the distance from the market to the house. If you put the base in the center, it also bounces off that. So you can potentially put a market on the very edge of a base's sphere of influence. Mm -hmm. And even though the market doesn't reach the houses that are, say you put it on the west edge, even though a market doesn't reach the houses that are on the east edge, it will still sell to them because the base is like a central depot and it expands all the ranges and everything. Oh, cool. They all link together. So you can potentially put your base in the center and make a huge city. And oh, cool. you could deliver to someone in the corner, in the top left corner, and someone in the bottom right corner would still get the food. So, oh, oh that's yeah. pretty cool. I like, I like it a lot. Yeah, I, I have to get back into Factory Town at some point. But it seems like you've cornered the market for Factory Town videos. <laughs> I know, I know someone yeah. could come along. I'm sure of it at some point if they aren't already. Um, I don't, I don't watch Factory Town videos. Do you know that? That's really weird. Um, yeah, I watch them. I, I, I make. No, nah, it's more I, fun, fun I figuring should, it out yourself, isn't it? I, I, sh I should watch other people though, because you can get influence for it. So I've watched Factorio videos to get influence for other things going on there. Mm -hmm. I just feel like with Factory Town, it sounds really big-headed, but I know it. I know the game. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it makes but sense. I do, because other people can build things that be like, wow, some of the people on Discord building castles and all sorts of pieces. Yeah, Load, loads of new um, decorative blocks. So. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, so I, I built a castle once. That 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 was yes. pretty pretty yeah, pretty I mean, tame. But you were trying to build a citadel, weren't you? A great big wall around the outside. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I did finish it to my relative satisfaction, I'd say. But by by no means was a masterpiece. <laughs> but hey, it worked. Yeah, and it was fun. It was. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So yeah. Well, anyway, sh shall we call it here or? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Let's. Let's. Yes. Yeah. We're. We're well over time. So. So yeah. yeah. So um, basically, this this whole advanced circuit thing is up and running. It just needs actual trains to come here and deliver stuff. And and uh, copper to plate to be made. Yeah. Because uh, it needs green circuits, which is not getting it. I'm not sure why the plastic trains are coming. Oh, because I've got two green circuit trains. Because I'm. Let's change this one to be plastic, shall we? Before a train turns up and wrecks everything. That might be an idea. Uh, okay. Now there are plastic. four mines supplying us with copper ore. So yes. I. I might, if I can, I probably can't, but if I can, I will uh, hook the, um, the the copper ore drop-offs up in between episodes, but I'm, I might not be able to because I am going to go visit my wife's family for a week. Okay. Uh, so we have like a big national holiday next week, uh, Sonkran, uh, and they always laugh at me when I say it out here because I say it wrong, but it's called Songkran. And uh, we're going to go play with water and stuff. It's a big water fight, basically. Oh, nice. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, it's a national holiday Tuesday to Thursday, and I've then taken off Monday and Friday as well. So, um, so we can go there and, uh, and have a good time. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Anyway, let, let's call it, shall we? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So, yes, thank you very much for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this one, and we hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. Bye-bye.